Okay there. Hey everybody. Welcome back to Joe Wednesdays. It's Joe, obviously. How are we doing? Uh, I'm sick again, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but that that's what happens when your sick toddler just coughs right into the back of your mouth. So, <laughs> it's like... I don't know if she necessarily did it on purpose, but um, she's been doing this, uh, get, like asking for big hug and big kiss and, and that kind of stuff. And this particular time over the weekend, she was like, big kiss, dad. And, and as I was coming down, I, I must have been in the middle of saying or something because instead of kissing me, she went <coughs> like right into my throat. I was like, oh, God. So just kind of like counting the days until I was going to get a cold myself. So. I think for the most part I'm already kind of getting over it and whatnot, but I, I think I'd probably sound a little nasally today, whatever, what can you do? Um, let's see, um, on the Lydia front, she has been obsessed with Tangled right now. Uh, it's another Disney princess movie. Um, I can't say that I object to it too much, though. I mean, like, it's, um... I, I, I can at least appreciate that she's going and liking Disney princess movies that aren't like the, oh, like, come, you know, Night, Night in Shining Armor, come to save me kind of deal. And it's more like she's watching more like, you know, like Mulan is like, like she's trying to find herself and she just happens to find a love interest on her journey. And like with Tangled, it's kind of the same way, like the, the, um, Rapunzel and, uh, what's the guy's name? Whatever the guy's name is, like... Like, they go on this journey together, not as, like, a love interest thing. It just develops as they go kind of deal. But um, it's really just about, like, this, like, you know, Rapunzel following whatever dream she had. So I th I think that's, you know, I, I I don't know. I don't I don't put too much stock in the things that she's watching, sending, like, good messages or bad messages or anything like that. I don't know. Um, I'm not too worried about it right now because, you know, she's two. And, uh, <laughs> like... Like, yes, the things that she's seeing will, like, impact her in the future and, like, you know, role models and all this kind of stuff. But I just, um, I'm not putting too much stock in that right now. If it, if it, uh, and she starts asking questions about those things, we can obviously, you know, talk about those things as she gets older. Uh, so, so this past weekend, I posted a video game, uh, playthrough called The Witch's House. Um, it's a Japanese horror RPG. And, uh, if you're wondering why I'm playing a horror game, I don't know, uh, <laughs> no, but, um, it's, uh, it was kind of trying to be a little bit of a callback to Ashley and I's, uh, past. Um, we watched a lot of video games played by Markiplier, like, back when we were dating. And, um, The Witch's House was one of the games that we, I think it was probably one of the first ones we ever watched him play. And then... We've kind of made that our kind of unofficial Halloween tradition where we watch that playthrough of it every year. Um, but since, you know, since I've been doing game playthroughs and I finished up the StarCraft one, um, I was kind of like, well, why not, you know, try to do one myself and, and, and put my own uh, playthrough of that game on there. So, um, and I mean, what's what's neat about it is that it's it's free to play. So, I mean, like, you can uh, you can go on their website where they developed it. You can download it. As long as you have Windows, you can play it for free, which is pretty cool. And then um, they, it looks like they've done an updated version of it, and they have it for $15 on Steam. But, I mean, I, I played through the, like, original version, and it still works out great. Um, so, yeah. So, and, and it was um, maybe my second try of doing a horror game <laughs> so um like I, I don't i don't think horror games have ever really appeared to me or even the horror genre um but it was you know why not give it a try see how it was um <laughs> it's uh so so ashley was saying after she watched it that that uh she thought it was really good and she thought like she'd be curious to see me do more of them i I don't think I'll be able to do them frequently. Like, it's, it's not to say that I'll never play a horror game again or record one or anything like that, but um, I don't know about you, but I have a very hard time shaking, uh, like, scared feelings when I have them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how else to really describe it, but like, like if there's like a horror movie with a monster in it that really like just kind of digs into my brain a little bit or like bothers me somehow, it's a very long time before like 
like I could go to bed without those thoughts like creeping up before I try to sleep. Um, and like even with this game, The Witch's House that I played, the, the witch's name is Ellen. And I remember the first time seeing it, there was a good like week, week and a half where I could not go to bed without like Ellen coming up in like the back of my mind. Um, and unfortunately, I, I, I kind of brought that on myself though because um, as the portion of the game where she's chasing your character comes up, um, I was starting to doze off. And so, like, I only, like, saw bits and pieces out of, like, the corner of my eye. And I was kind of, like, 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 I was hearing everything, but I wasn't seeing it all. And so, like, like, in my head, it was, like, filling in the gaps and was making it a hell of a lot scarier of an experience than it already was. <laughs> like, because, like, it's really just, like, she's just, just this image that's kind of, like, scooting around following you as you're running away from her. And, like, like, I thought she was, like, riling around and throwing her arms and, like, you know, like, blood was everywhere and all this kind of, like, like, I just had, like, this much more gruesomer image in my mind than what was actually happening on the screen. Um, so, like, I, I, like, the day after we saw it, I'm like, okay, I need to watch this again so I know, like, like, I see exactly what happened just so I can, like, face the fear that I, my brain was making up. <laughs> so so yeah i mean i i think it's a good game uh if you want to check it out like i said i have a playlist on my on my channel uh, that you could check out um mm, pardon me um but that kind of makes me think of another story here so back in my high school days um i was dating a girl and um her family was very much into watching movies and and halloween was i think their favorite holiday um so like they they have like you know like they they you could probably grab a halloween movie for like every day in october and you would still not to be not be able to watch their entire collection of halloween movies that they have um but anyway so like i had like similar with video games i didn't really seek out horror movies either and, um, so I had not even seen, like, kind of, like, even the simple ones, like Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Friday the 13th, that kind of stuff. I hadn't seen any of those. Um, so they were, they were, they were very eager to, to try to see me get scared. <laughs> so, so they were, uh, they were, uh, wanting to show me all that stuff. And, um, so the first time I had seen Friday the 13th, most of it, uh, you know, I, I mean, most of it wasn't really that scary. You could kind of laugh and scoff at it. But, um, but the end of that movie where Jason, uh, like, jumps out of the, out of the lake and, like, grabs the girl and flips her out of the boat and that kind of stuff, like, like, that legitimately startled me. And the reason I know that it legitimately startled me is because, like, like, I was, I was sitting next to my girlfriend, I had, like, my arm around her waist, and I think, like, she had her arms crossed and, like, like her, her one hand was in mine here and here. Um, when that scene happened, I don't know what I did. All I know is we ended with, like, her, like, buried in the couch. And I was, like, somehow in front of her legs. So, like, like when it was out, I was like, oh, God, get behind me. Like, I don't know what, what happened or what instinct that was or anything, but, um... Like, like, to this day, if, if I saw her or her mom, like, they would be like, oh, hey, remember when you got really freaked out? Yeah, so, so they, 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 they always had a kick out of that uh, story, uh, making fun of me for it, so. But, I don't know, it, like, a silver lining is, like, it's, you, sometimes you question, like, how you would react in a threatening situation, and, and, like, I don't know, there's at least some comfort to know that, like, I wouldn't, like, stand idly by and I would hopefully, like, try to help or do something or protect somebody, so, um, yeah, so I, it's, like, <laughs> I don't know how to end that story, but, but, uh, but, yeah, silver, silver linings where they are. I'll, I'll try to be the hero, but no guarantees in life, right? <laughs> um, okay, well, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, uh, for me this week, um, so I'll be sharing this one more time on my Facebook, at least like with the intention of reaching out to people and letting them uh, kind of connect, reconnect with me. 
Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So, um, and, and like this, I think we did a straight month. I got like maybe like 10 additional subscribers. So that, I mean, that's fine. I'm not really looking to like really increase my base, but, uh, um, so if if this is the first time you're seeing a Joe Wednesday video, um, like I've been doing these on my YouTube channel, um, but I've just been sharing them on Facebook to kind of reach out to more people. So if you're wanting to see more of these and you want to get like updates from me, um, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe there for regular updates. I'll, I, I, I basically do these every Wednesday. Um, and then for those that are or have been here, um, I definitely would like to make this more conversational and interactive with you guys. So, I mean, if you got questions for me, uh, go ahead and leave comments uh, in the uh, YouTube channel. Or, I mean, like, you know, if you want to, like, private message me on Facebook or something like that, you could do that, too, if you don't want to. If you're not really too comfortable, like, interacting publicly on, on Facebook or YouTube or anything like that, I can understand that because um, that's where I was before I started doing this stuff. So, like, if you, if you don't want to stick your neck out too much in like public social media space. I get it. Um, but yeah, like, but like I said, I, I definitely would want it to be more interactive with you. And I mean, I certainly want to hear from you, how you're doing, you know, family wise and all that, you know, anything really. Um, so feel free to comment, ask questions, uh, input, make fun of me on the stuff I'm talking about, whatever you want. So, <laughs> um, but I will cut myself off here. This is Joe signing out. We'll see you guys next week. Take care of yourselves. It's so high, that's right. I can't too. Yeah. You gonna run more circles around it? Are you all done now? <laughs> What's that? It's a flag. I can't break this too. It's pretty high, that's right. <laughs>